guys. So I'm here today to talk to you about how to sneak alcohol onto a cruise ship. So I go on a lot of cruises and as you know, if you've ever been on a cruise before, it can be pretty expensive to either buy the liquor package or just buy drinks. So if you go to liquorgear.com, we have a bunch of different items that you can use to sneak liquor on board. So this package right here is one of them and this is goes for about $15. So in this package you'll get a shampoo and a conditioner bottle and you'll also get these items here and a little funnel to fill up your bottles. Then we have some caps here. Now these fit perfectly on Aquafina bottles. So just to show you, you can put it on and it looks just like a sealed bottle. So you get six of these for about four dollars. So that's another option. This would probably work really well for Carnival because Carnival lets you bring like your own single bottles of water on. Royal Caribbean's a little bit more strict. Then we have here, this goes for $10. So this is like sunscreen bottles. And they look pretty legit. Like just to compare, this is what a copper tone one looks like. And then this is what the fake one looks like. So you get two of these for $10. And then, you know, you can just label them discreetly on the back. Or, if, you know, if you're bringing whiskey on one and vodka on the other, you can just open it and smell it so you don't even have to worry about labeling it. And these even come with pour spouts on them, so they're ready to go. And next I'm going to show you how I pack it. So these seals here, these are like legit seals. They, If you press them on, they will like stick. So it'll look like, you know, you have to peel them off to to open up the package. So you get these seals too in this whole package here. Oh, and the cool thing about this package is, see the trick to sneaking it on ships is that you can't have any metal because once it goes through the metal detector, it's gonna pick it up and it's gonna get flagged. So the fact that this is all plastic is just gonna go through with no problem. And the same thing with all these bottles here. So next I'm gonna show you where I like to place it in the suitcase, you know, just to hope that they don't find it. <laughs> Whenever I pack it in a suitcase, what I'll usually do is like I always pack it in the one that I don't have to put myself through um, through security. So it'll be the big one that you give to the guy and then they bring it to your room. So I usually pack it like somewhere in the middle of the suitcase and what I like to do is, this is going to be a little TMI but it works, I will wrap it in my husband's boxer shorts because if they want to go for it and get it, I mean, they're going to have to work for it. They're going to have to really want it and go through the underwear to get it. So ever since I've been doing that using plastic bottles or the plastic soft pouches and then wrapping it in the middle of the suitcase area, like in boxer shorts, I've never had a problem with the alcohol being found or getting caught. So that's just another tip of how I like to pack it. So the reason why I like to put it in the middle is because I guess it's another layer of protection, you know, from it being like if they throw it, you don't have to really worry about the pressure squeezing it out, you know, squeezing the alcohol out. So I'll put usually, I'll usually put one like in the top area and then one in the bottom area because obviously of the walls it's like more reinforced so I'll tuck it somewhere in here or I'll tuck it somewhere here on the sides. Every now and then, and I do that mainly with the hard bottles. Now the pouches, the pouches I tend to put kind of like in the middle area. So those are my tips. Thank you for joining me. Hope it works for y'all. Let me know in the comments if you tried this before.